Bande Guru Pada Dandam Bhakta Bindu Samanita Se Chaitana Prabhu Bande Nita Nanda Sahodita Se Nanda Nanda Nang Bande Radhika Charana Dayam Gopijana Samayuktam Binda Panchakar Putur Vashya ke paas hindu bevacha Titanan Pabune Bhavaishnavi Bhyo Mukhan Paroti Vacha Lang Pangumulam Hethikiri Yat ke paatam hang bandhi Bindavi to see what we have in case of such a Snavakti, but they may be subtober to Sankirtane Krishna Patho Buddhis Gauri Abhatrasya Prakasa Nija Sadhanurakta Guru Bhakti Yukta Bhakti Pramadaksha Jagat Parana Deyam Sada Padivabhakna Bhavishtaduham Tethas Padam Siva Virinchanutam Saran Vita Tihum Punotopal Bhavati Putam Bande Mahapursate Charna Yat Pada Pallavanakachana Manichatai Bisgita Kamapikabudu to others Purna Ragrasa Sagrasa Armuti Saradhika Mai Kada Kipa Sri Krishna Jaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adaita Gadadhar Siva Sadi Gaura Bhakta Vinda Sri Krishna Jaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adaita Gadadhar Siva Sadi Gaura Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Ajan Lumbita Bhujo Kanaka Bodato Sankirtano Kapitaro Kamala Yataksho Visham Baru Vijavaru Yugodhar Mopalo Bande Yagat Priya Karu Karuna Bhataro Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Namami Gange Tavapa Dipankajam Sura Surai Rabandito Diparupam Mukti Chamukti Chadada Sinitam Bhavan Rupe Nasada Narana Ganga Taranga Ramani Yajata Kalapam Gauri Nirantara Vivishi Tabam Bhagam Nara Yuno Priyamanangamada Paharam Baran Sipurapati Bhajavi Shanatham Vagi Shijusho Vadani Lakshmi Rijasha Chavakshashi Jasyasti Hida Sambi Vam Shingam Hajit 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आमनाय प्राहुत अत्यम हरिमीह परम सर्वशक्तिम रसाधिम तद्भिन्नाश्यांश जीवान प्रकृति कबलितान तद्भिमुक्तांश भाव भेदाभेदोपकाशम सकलमी हरे हे साधन शुद्ध भक्ति साध्यम तत्प्रीतिमेवतीपदिशति जनागौरचंद स्वयं स आमनाय प्राहुतम हरिमीह परम सर्वशक्ति रसाधीन तद्भिन्नाश्यांश जीवान प्रकृति कबलिता तद्भिमुक्ता भाव भेदाभेद प्रकाशम सकलमी हरि साधन शुद्ध भक्ति साध्यम तत्प्रीतिमेवतीपदिशति गौरचंदो स्वयं स्व गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परम गुरु टोल्ड दैट गुरु पाद पद्म इज एक्चुअली ब्रह्म वस्तु दैट टॉप मोस्ट बृहद वस्तु एंड वी आर एक्चुअली लघु वी आर एक्चुअली लघु वस्तु वॉट एवर हु वॉट एवर काइंड ऑफ जीव वी कैन फाइंड ऑल आर लघु इन फन आई टेसिमल चिद आत्मा That chin my chit particle. We are actually lagu. Any time in the entanglement of Maya, we can get entrapped in that. Any time we can come in the trap of Maya. Any time. But Guru Pad Padma is actually Prihad Vastu. That is Brahma Vastu. Guru Pad Padma. That it is more and more brihad, topmost brihad vastu is Guru Pad Padma. Guru Pad Padma. Guru Pad Guru Pad Padma. Param. That is that is topmost Param Brahm vastu object transcendental Bar Brahm vastu and is all the time doing seva of Bhagwan and just to serve brihad vastu. Because he is becoming one with the Bhagwan, all the qualities not like a Brahm. The uh, Guru Tattva. If you are actually doing actual vichar, then Mool Guru Tattva is Baldauji Maharaj Ananta Dev. That is Brahma Vastu. If you are actually making an actual uh, vichar, then Baldauji Maharaj Ananta Dev is the actual uh, Guru Tattva in the form of Guru Dev. He is coming in front of us in order to save us. Guru Pad Padma. Is Brahad Vastu Brahma Vastu? He is actually serving Brahma Vastu. Guru Pad Padma is serving Brahad, and Brahad Vastu is Parat Parakileshwar Param Vastu, and he is uh, uh, serving that uh, Param Vastu Guru Tat Guru Guru Pad Padma. And uh, we and our darshan of this material world. What darshan we are having this material world? We are having a darshan of this material world. We are doing the darshan of material world, but we are not at all taking the darshan of Jagatpati Jagannath. Whatever in all the four directions we are actually seeing, we are seeing the Jagat darshan, material darshan. Why? Because material darshan means that we are having darshan of Maya. Jagat darshan means that we have darshan of Maya. Material darshan means that uh, that enjoying mood. You are uh, having darshan of that. That all the uh, infinity objects, in that uh, you are thinking, uh, you are thinking that it is all for my enjoyment. It is called material darshan, and every object is uh, for the service of Bhagwan. Then, uh, only just uh, two chapatis, Bhagwan can provide me. That's it, just by His kripa, or that is also not the actual demand of two chapatis. That is not also an actual demand of giving two chapatis to us towards Bhagwan. This kind of uh, prayer is not at all there towards Bhagwan. Not at all. 
ओके वी कैन गेट देन वी कैन टेक इट दैट पर आत्पर्य अखिलेश्वर भगवान भगवत सेवा यू आर बिकमिंग सेवा मय इट इज एन ऑटोमेटिक फैक्टर दैट ऑन टू दैट मटीरियल वर्ल्ड जस्ट टू डू कंट्रोलिंग दैट काइंड ऑफ विच आर इफ समन इज टेकिंग दैट इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड यू आर हैविंग दैट विच आर ऑफ डूइंग कंट्रोलिंग बाई जस्ट पुटिंग वन काइंड ऑफ जस्ट टू गेट कंट्रोल ओवर दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड just by doing this darshan of this material world then it will definitely one become one kind of hanging rope for me that jagat darshan material darshan will become one kind of hanging rope for me and i just want to put my own uh, uh, position on this material world and my controlling over this material world and i want to uh, put my uh, dominance over this material world this kind of material darshan is just one be- kind be- will become one kind of hanging rope for me persons are not at all thinking this they are thinking that it is full of anand the actual uh, that those who are not at all vaishnav those are a vaishnav their vichar is or maybe those who are also doing tilak mala and they are taking sanyas wish and uh, they are in the form of acharya it's not you can't even uh, think of that it is here they are actually a vaishnav they are not at all vaishnav external wish is not a big thing at all just be careful on this point and just uh, put, take this point very carefully that a vaishnav on this earth they want to enjoy on this material world whether they are less like sanyasi in the wish of ravan whether they are in paramans wish they want to enjoy this material world ravan is ravan you can't do anything in that a vaishnav they always want to enjoy each and everything of this material world they have that darshan only that a vaishnav has this vichar that those who are not vaishnav that in order to enjoy this material world that's it but vaishnav that who is topmost vaishnav their vichar is not like that at all that this material world it is not the act that uh, whatever kind of objects you can see in this material world or whether you are actually rejecting that in between both those things n- not a special uh, point is there at all no speciality is there both of them It, they, this is not the actual which are of vaishnav those both the points are for avishnav only in this material world that a lot of uh, false ego is there towards material uh, things and don't want don't nobody wants to understand what is what only and only bhagwan is there that say vyavastu the topmost worshipable object for us and we are actually a uh, the servant of bhagwan this which are nobody wants to take at all ashray tat bahut ho sakta lot of uh, lot of ashray tat can be there and sevya tatva it is only one that is bhagwan and now the actual question is coming that why this i am actually putting in front of you because in the kirtan it is written sambandha janiya bhajite bhajite abhimano hobe do isliye sab baat that's why all these things i have just put in front of you that brahm samhita this is the last uh, uh, this is the last of brahm samhita and from tomorrow shishila ragunath das goswami pad virchit shri mana shiksha we will be starting that just by the kripa of uh, ragunath das goswami we will be just starting that today is the actual uh, last uh, day of brahm samhita so just uh, for in order to just uh, remember the things again i have to go in the back so that i can put that in front of you can understand that the shlok which i have already started with here bhakti vinod thakur ji he is already writing here arthat amnaya that uh, that sad guru parampara that ved shastra according to that that is actually authentic amnay amnay means that sadguru parampara what you have got through your sadguru that kind of divya gyan you have got 
that is amnaya prahatat that that tat only that tat the vastu which you got from a authentic guru parampara that is only authentic in order to just uh, uh, manifest in front of us because hari is the topmost tatva that same am amnaya that is no omni amnaya prahatat so amnaya so amnaya means that amnaya that is the actual tatva it means that guru parampara when you got that ved shastra that kind of gyan and hari is the topmost param tatva and shri hari is the topmost uh, uh, adhar and the source of all the shakti and powers in this infinity material brahmand and this hari only that is the topmost ocean of uh, transcendental rasa He is the actual ocean of all the rasa, whatever kind of infinity, whatever kind of infinity rasas are there, that it is there inside Hari, it is the Vibhin Ansh of Hari, it means by Achinta Veda Pe Shakti, it is actually getting uh, oneness with Bhagwan at a time. It is uh, different and non-different from Bhagwan by Achinta Veda Ve Tattva. Tathastha Shakti, that Veda Ve Prakash, what actually written in Chaitanya Chirtamrit regarding this. And uh, this is the whatever kind of Bahirmukh external bhav, that kind of uh, external Bahirmukh bhav of the jivas, jeev is already in Maya. He can get entangled in Maya anytime. He can anytime entangled in Maya. And and Jeev, when he is doing bhajan, slowly, steadily, he just attained the kripa of Sadguru Vaishnav. Bhavrati is getting, in, getting manifested inside his heart. Then only he can get out of the bondage of Maya. Then only he can get uh, eligible to get out of the bondage of Maya. In this material world, there is no other any kind of object that which is out of the box of Bhagwan, out of the relation of Bhagwan, but still it is away from Bhagwan. You understand that in infinite lot of objects, it is actually manifested by Hari. That Shuddha Bhakti, which you call, which is Rukshi Larubh Goswami Pad told. That, shid, that this pure Shakti, pure Bhakti is Sadhan and Shri Krishna Prem, that is a Sadhyavastu means that it is an attainable object. Sadhan means that that kind of Parikriya procedure by which is, you can get that Sadhya object that is called Sadhan. And that by sadhan, whatever object you can get, that is called sadhya object. That just all very beautiful, which are this sambandh again relationship with Bhagwan, and sambandh apart from relationship with Bhagwan, Bhagwat Bhajan, there is no question of Bhagwat Bhajan at all. No question of Bhagwat Bhajan can come at all. If you have that relationship of Bhagavad Bhagwan, then only the question of bhajan of Bhagwan can arise. That without Prabhupada also speaking a lot of time this point in front of us. That if after getting Sambandha Gyan, after realizing your actual relationship with Bhagwan, your actual bhajan starts. Before that, bhajan is not at all get started at all. Be- of this only. <coughs> I have told you, you can remember what I have told you previously, that Brahma Samhita, whatever kind of vichar I have put in front of you, that after speaking all the vichar in front of you, Bhagwan, Bhagwan, Bhagwan is actually ocean of infinity mercy, ocean of infinity mercy and he is actually speaking five shlokas major shlokas to Brahma and in this five shloki at the last also it is getting ended up still I will again be putting one to two shlokas in front of you 
so that you can remember it again what i have told previously 58th number shlok it is written What actually written here? I, I, I will not speak more because it's already being uh, spoken previously. Just for remembrance, I am speaking this point again in front of you. That our Gyan, that what Brahma Gyan, that Adhyatma Gyan, it's not like that. That Gyan, knowledge means that Sambandha Gyan. That is the actual Gyan, actual knowledge, Sambandha Gyan. That same Sambandha Gyan only. Chid Achid, that Vaishnav Tattva, Vishnu Tattva. All Sambandha Samband Gyan is a very vast chapter. And what is our actual relationship with Bhagwan? And what is the actual relationship of Maya with us? What is the relationship of Maya with Bhagwan? And this, why this material world has come? This all, this is very vast chapter. This Sambandha Gyan. Just by knowing the actual relationship with Bhagwan, you then only you can start the actual Hari Bhajan, Bhajan of Bhagwan. And this Sambandha Gyan, what it is there. After getting that, realizing that, then only you can get the actual uh, eligibility to do seva. And in Shri Chaitanya Jiritamrit also that uh, the instruction is given. This Siddhant Baliya Chitte Nakaro, what is that Siddhant? That is also... That's a dhant. That is also by on the basis of Sambandha Gyan only. You, can, you are getting it, no? That's a dhant, what you are getting. That's a dhant is not at all getting up from the sky. Siddhant is not at all getting up from the sky, no? Siddhant means that Sambandha Gyan, on the basis of Sambandha Gyan, that which are only is called, actually called Siddhant. So, that Gyani means Sambandha Gyan. And just not not uh, which are like Mayavadis, we are not at all having that which are Chid, Achid and Krishna Tattva and Sambandha, that is the actual Gyan. Where or to spiritual Gyan and Brahma Gyan, that is all actually against Bhakti, pure Bhakti. We, so, Bhakti Vinod Thakur already speaking, Dashamul Tattva about that, that first, uh, that first Dashamul Tattva what I have told. This I have already told you. Here, that Dashamul Tattva, the first, that Shapta Tattva, that Gyan Sambandha, that Dashamul Tattva, the actual Vichal, we have told. This I have already told you. That Dashamul Tattva, that Shabda Tattva Mool, up till that, that, that Sambandha Gyan, Vichar is there. That Bhakti Shastra, that Abhidai Tattva, what is that? That Shravan, Kirtan, Smaran, Pad Seva, Archan, Vandan, Dasya, Sakya, all and Atma Nivedan. This kind of uh, uh, categorical uh, division of uh, Navabhida Bhakti that you are actually getting, we are getting that in Abhidai Tattva. That Prahlad Maharaj's answer is there to Hiranagishpu. So this Shravan, Kirtan, Smaran, Pad, Sevan, Archan, Vandan, Dasya, Sakya and Atma Nivedan, this all kind of nine different different uh, types of bhakti that is called Krishna Nushilana. Bhakti means it is actually Bhajadatu, that is the actual Seva mood what you are getting. Then in Bhakti Rasamri Sindhu also, there is very special point also written. There actually I will not be speaking because here actually Sambandhigan is very important to understand. 
and in bhagwan also speak again five shloki and giving him the last instruction that you, by which you can get the topmost absolute benefit it means that you can get prema bhakti so like this kind of knowledge that prem lakshana bhakti symptoms of prem bhakti in that you can get manifest automatically in that that prabuddhya it can get manifest automatically that is actually called and that is that is the actual sadhya tattva for jivas to attain that is the actual sadhya tattva of jivas means that in order to attain that object by sadhana that is the actual in order to get ananya bhakti onto lotus feet of hari that is called sadhya tattva and after that that 59 number shloka i have already told tak sadacharis tak abhyasair nirantaram bodhyatvatmanatmanam bhaktim opi uttamam labhet kya bataya what actually written here praman praman the proof what is actual proof that shabd is the actual praman what that according to the shastra vichar that word is the actual proof jeev goswami pad is uh, also putting that shabd praman only and it is the actual tat sadacharis tad abhyasair nirantaram bodhatya bodhayatya atmana actual source of all the vichar oki uttamam lage praman praman that proof sadachar that by sadhana practice all the time continuously that with full uh, uh, swarup siddhi just by practicing that that one kind of energy he is getting uh, inside a particular jiva is getting a uh, energy uh, and he can get uttama bhakti after that just by uh, that is the actual that praman that proof that is shabd praman that bhagavad shastra swarup puran geeta that bhakti shastra they are all shabd praman and what is sadachar that shuddha bhakt pure devotees that adash acharan what they are that is actually called sadachar that that pure devotee is what the actual other shastra they are having that already being spoken like that and rag bhakt jo hai and rag devotees that rag mulak achar they are having that kind of practice and sadhana by that that dashmul that from the dashmul shastra just by making this kind of vichar like in chaitanya charitamrita it's all written that dashmul also of geeta is also there upanishad also have dashmul every bhagavad katha also have dashmul dashmul means that the mool tattva on on the basis of that all the shastras are actually getting established on the basis of dashmul so this uh, that this kind of uh, practice and sadhana this is actually getting manifested from uh, dashmul and after get, just know your relationship with bhagwan that the actual sambandh you are getting from bhagwan then only naam roop gun lilatmak then naam roop gun lila hari naam after getting that from a pure devotee pure sadhu only that ahar nishad means that mahaprabhu ji already has spoke speaking speaking ahar raho anushilan ke dwara bhai ahar anushilan that uh, in order to practice that is very much important in that that uh, shastras are my eyes and the actual uh, that i am blind uh, transcendental eyes are not at all there shastras are the actual transcendental eyes that tatva darshan they are providing us the shastras only are the actual tatva darshan by external eyes we that we can only see stool and urine and blood and flesh that's it but but shastriya lochan if the tattva darshan we are getting from the shastras then internal uh, eyes are already open by that atma darshan is open by that and uh, pure devotees are also getting this why because jo vishnu 
that that do do that who is vaishnav and that is guru that that who is guru that is vaishnav and they are actually just putting off our blindness and they are putting off the actual rope which is there on our eyes atma tattva they are and by shravan only just by doing harina manushilan by that 10 times of naam apradh what are there that time types of different naam apradh are there this it will not get inculcated again it will not grow by sadachar that shri hari shan hari naam anushilan if you do by sadachar then 10 types of naam aparad will won't get inculcated and it won't put us in trouble at all that sadhu gans that is the that same aparad shunya without any aparad if they are doing apran a uh, naam that all the time uh, they are hearing hari speaking hari katha that just we need to practice that under their guidance and just like this sadhan and and like this sadhan and this type of sadhan just by doing that slowly steadily that sadhya sadhya object that prem lakshana bhakti which is our topmost target it is auto- automatically get it manifested about this in brahm samhita it is written साध्यम मीन्स दैट प्रेम भक्ति एंड इन द लास्ट श्लोक दैट इन दिक्सटी नंबर श्लोक इट्स रिटर्न दैट आई विल बी स्पीकिंग ओनली टू लाइन्स दैट सिक्सटी नंबर श्लोक अबाउट विच दैट इन फिफ्टी नाइन नंबर श्लोक ऑलरेडी बीन स्पोकन that all the time by that you can get your external eternal swarup and just by targeting your eternal swarup at last you can get prem bhakti at last and about this only bhagwan actually speaking in the last in the 60 number shloka again brahma ji in the last bhagwan speaking that uh, in the last bhagwan speaking to brahma ji that beta that apart from that that is a topmost mangal may thing you can get that sashti vibhakti it is apart from this nothing can be more topmost you understand the point what i am speaking that is sashti vibhakti that sixth case ending in sanskrit by this that is the top most mangal mangal my activity that by which of which object you are getting that you are getting the top most permanent and you are getting the top most nivritti out of that 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 uh, he is getting the topmost charan mangal that particular jiva apart from that nothing is more topmost and apart from that that he can get that topmost parmanand in his life in his uh, present life that particular jiva that particular jiva who are actually practicing my sadhana bhakti and he wants to practice and they are just doing sadhan bhakti under guidance of pure guru vaishnav that only they can only get that prem bhakti they can accept that inside their heart others can't sadhan bhakti that actually same prem bhakti it is targeted towards that only today actually this is the actual last shlok of brahm brahm samhita today 61 number in which i have already told you but i have spoken this point next week in the next week maybe today i will be speaking as the final uh, uh, discussion it will get over today what actually written here anyano paritajyo manekam bhajo vishoshana jatrishi jatrishi sadhya siddhir bhakti tatushi kurvan nirantaram karmo loko ayam anuvartate tenaivo karmana dhyayan माम पराम भक्ति मिच्छती ये पांचों 
This five shloki Uptesh instruction given by Bhagwan to Brahma. Bhagwan in the last is speaking to Brahma that just uh, actual uh, f- final uh, target of all the shastras that is my lotus feet to attain that all vain ved puran upanishad puran whatever you are actually thinking the actual target final target is to get the lotus feet of my that in order to get the service of my lotus feet that's why in gita also bhagwan speaking This already being told, and now Bhagwan speaking. It means that log dharma, general dharma, that which is log dharma, that logic dharma, and samaj dharma, mano dharma, material dharma, that up till that that Vedas, what that prescription of Vedas also. With full faith, you just need to accept uh, this kind of Atma Dharma and just rejecting all kind of Dharma and just by doing my bhajan, about which in the last slok of Gita it's already written. Gokranji Maharaj is actually speaking to his father Atmadev. He is actually speaking to his father Atmadev. What actually spoken by Gokranji Maharaj? That you, you actually do the bhajan of dharma in which dharma? That is Bhagavad dharma, Atma dharma. Only the dharma is only one. It's not two or four. It is only one. That it is just because of Maya. By the effect of Maya, lot of dharma are there. Uh, dharma is only one and one. That is Bhagavad dharma. So, Gokaranji Maharaj is actually Mahabhagavat, and he is speaking to his father Atma Dev. He is giving instruction. That you follow Bhagavad Dharma, that Atma Dharma, that Vaishnav Dharma, you get established in that. You only do that bhajan of that uh, Bhagavad Dharma only. You all kind of Lok Dharma, Ved Dharma or whatever material Dharma and mental Dharma, mentally concocted Dharma, everything you need to avoid and throw that away. And... That all pure Guru Vaishnav, you just need to serve them by just their lotus feet, Kripa, Kripa of their lotus feet. That uh, infinity disease of this material world can get uh, easily get, uh, you can get freed out of that. You can free up, they can free you from that. So here also, here also Brahmaji, Bhagwan Shri Krishna, is speaking this five shloki that in the last shloka of the five shlokas that 60 number shloka 61 number shloka that what I have already told you a, uh, a bit of time before what actually written here that all kind of dharma you just need to throw it away kick it away and only and only that what Gita in Gita Bhagavan speaking to Arjun That only and only you just need to do bhajan of me. My lotus feet you just need to do that bhajan. Only and only you just need to serve my lotus feet. That's it. Why? Because I am giving you this promise from my side. I am giving you this promise from my side. That 
that you don't need to go towards any kind of other dharma i you will not at all and getting any kind of uh, sinful reaction by not following the other dharma lok dharma mool dharma whatever different different ved dharma some person all person are thinking that i have some different different kind of duties but uh, i have out- already told a lot of time by the krip of guru vishnu and bhagwan that uh, whatever kind of uh, duties which we are feeling just we are feeling that these are all title duties and the definitely these are duties but all actually are by the actual effect of maya we are getting those kind of title duties whether it is the principal of college also he has that duty or whether he has the one in he is the husband of uh, one house or whether she is the wife of one husband and whatever kind of duty role and duties of a woman is there whatever what duties there are whether the role of role and duties of minister whatever duties a person is having this is all actually title duties you they just need to accept those roles but all these duties this is just by the effect of maya all my duty everything or everything created by bhagwan bhagwan ka maya it is just by created by the effect of maya that's it indirectly created by bhagwan only by the by the help of yog maya that kind of title that is actually jeeva swarup krishna nityadas that is the actual title which we are getting through yog maya and nothing else at all that is the top most permanent and fixed title and whatever kind of upadhi and whatever upadhi it is actually all getting mixed with maya that i am doctor i am i am lieutenant general i am professor that whatever kind of duties that is all mixed with maya that whatever kind of title whatever duties which we are feeling we have to perform this is all due to maya that is actually all uh, for uh, bhagwat seva krishna seva apart from that i don't have any duty no duty left with me apart from serving bhagwan shri krishna that's it so that is a very correct point bhakti no thakur ji in kirtan also he is writing Bhaktino Thakur is just speaking in Kirtan at this point. Gada means there is using foul words. No, not like that. Gada means who is just who wants to take his own burden on his back. And I am a very... I am just becoming one advocate or barrister or what I am speaking maybe I am becoming one judge so on myself only I am taking lot of burden of the all material uh, garbage who is actually doing murder who is doing what all kind of garbage is coming uh, I just need to hear that so what bhakti vallah tarith ko swami maharaj to that our uh, Satish Prabhu already it, what's his name I can't remember that is the actual gun of Prabhupada eternal Prabhu, eternal Pasha Kesha Prabhu he actually told to Bhakti Bala Tirtho Swami Maharaj that you see when Tirtho Swami Maharaj was in the college he was studying there then Kesha Prabhu speaking that what you are actually going there to do in university uh, that I am actually going to do barristry Bhakti Bala Tirtho Maharaj speaking what you will do by uh, doing becoming a barrister and after that what will happen Kesha Prabhu speaking then that some who has actually taken stole someone's wife and who actually has murdered someone this only you will hear that's it this only you will hear no that all kind of material garbage will come inside your mind whether it is good that all those uh, pure, pure Guru Vaishnav Bhakti La Bhakti Dev Madhav Goswami Bharat onto the lotus feet you are surrendering and you are hearing Harikatha all the time so what is your actual which are you tell at that time Bhakti Vala Tirth Goswami Maharaj Yes, he is speaking that Yes, you are right I will not at all be reading Baristry at all I just stopped it completely That you are speaking right That I won't be This is all kind of material garbage I will be hearing, that's it And up till what point I have to go And they, you tell the vichar also But still All kind of uh, wrong activities They will be doing At your back So all this actually going on So 
this whole material world all kind of uh, titled karma and duties is actually all by the effect of maya we are getting everyone wants everyone wants burden on their back it is all this is just two days life you do harinam sankirtan that this is our only target to do harinam that's it to do harikatha to to speak, hear harikatha that is our actual duty so whatever be the case that with full confidence full faith with full faith and confidence that bhagavad dharma we just need to accept that that all kind of duties and all kind of uh, uh, duties uh, title duties will just get destroyed no sinful reaction can touch me by not performing those title duties at all this naraji maharaj already speaking that no kind of uh, debt will remain at all but if those who are doing hari bhajan all kind of duties are already finished for him already completed you understand the point like uh, at the root of uh, the tree if you are giving water that whole uh, tree is getting full of green leaves and uh, i am not at all putting separate water on to different different leaves and branches there is no use of doing that why because if you are giving into the main root the water then everything everything is getting nourished in the same way that bhagwan shri krishna and vishnu he is the bhuvan bhuvantram means bhuvanadrum he is bhuvanadrum means that infinity infinity material uh, creation that is actual root cause krishna that kind of faith and confidence just to do bhagwat seva all kind of debts are actually getting uh, completely destroyed nothing will remain in front of us at all that this kind of full faith should be there why because that the shraddha so what do you mean by shraddha shraddha means everything will get destroyed nothing will remain uh, no nothing left will be there all kind of karm will just get destroyed completely from the root and and the shraddha by the actual effect of shraddha if it will get increased day by day that shraddha how in whatever percentage our shraddha will go and in, go on increasing on to that only that same kind of situation and platform will be achieving that in the way of a bhakti how pers- how we will be increasing our shraddha the jivas according to that in increasing increment of shraddha they will be getting the increment in their consciousness as well and if they are having shraddha in maya and they will be getting siddhi in bhagwan it is not at all possible those at what you have shraddha in that you will get siddhi there is there is possibility to get siddhi in that shraddha how it will increase the in which percentage according to that you will get siddhi in this material world that just by doing karma all the time that all uh, material persons that this is infinity brahmand by karma it is actually getting uh, entangled by karma only this whole material world without karma they cannot stay at all this whole material world continuously by performing karma this whole material world that all material jivas infinity jivas what you can see they are on this material earth and or infinity brahmand you can see it is all actually uh, are uh, depend dependent upon karma and by these karma only if that uh, our consciousness and our thinking which bhagwan shri krishna is speaking to arjun regarding this all the time you just need to remember me and after that only you just need to do your war because now up till now point arjun 
the up till now the actual witcher of arjun is speaking that i am the actual doer i will not be killing anyone no 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 i will be doing that i will become bhikshuk why that they are all my father grandfather what to why to kill them i will actually become bhikshuk this is the actual vichar of arjun before the start of the war and bhagwan actually speaking that uh, that all the time from infinity time this continuous cycle of karma and birth uh, every jeevatma is just thinking of that this is your actual duty to perform this uh, battle war in the battlefield so you have to do that so if we can understand this that this is one kind of battle for arjun and uh, nitykal battle all the time continuous battle uh, it means inner meaning is that that this our life it is just also one kind of uh, war this kind of uh, continuous uh, continuous war is going on in in our life okay all the time that uh, you are doing karma and in this material world that according to that karma that karma karma to you have to do that you just need to concentrate on me and in that karma by that karma only you will be just concentrating on me and you can get the topmost para bhakti prem lakshana bhakti you can get that you will get that para prem para bhakti automatically the actual purport or conclusion is that out of this the actual conclusion out of this is that that this shuddha bhakti uh, symptom dharma that is the actual atma dharma and the jeev dharma that is the nitya dharma transcendental dharma of all the jeevatmas what is the actual meaning that the actual meaning is that that shuddha bhakti lakshana dharma that is that is prak that is the nitya dharma of the jeevas that is the jeev dharma of jeevas and the other kind of dharma it is not at all nitya that this is not atma dharma at all and other kind of dharma lok dharma whatever dharma is there apart from that that whatever kind of worldly affairs or worldly dharma these are all kind of titled karma and dharms that i've already told you previously in this harikatha these are all titled dharma and duties why because it is actually by the effect of maya dev it is given to us that shuddha bhakti dharma that is the actual dev dharma and atma dharma for all the jeevas that is the actual bhagavad dharma for all the jeevas that nitya dharma that is actual thing but all other kind of dharma what you are saying that it we are thinking that it is actually dharma but it is actually not dharma at all we all people are thinking like that inside that that is called titled dharma just by get targeting material uh, enjoyment and material happiness and karma kand and karma gyan they are targeting only on this gyan yog dharma or whether shushk vairagya yog dharma by different different kind of dharmas you are taking these are all kind of different different kind of titled dharms they are actually manifested in front of us which is just by the effect of maya it is getting in front of us it this just by rejecting all this that with full shraddha inside our heart that we just need to accept atma dharma and we just need to do bhajan accordingly of bhagwan bhagwan actually speaking this that in me that onto my lotus feet when those who are getting ananya bhakti if it is actually increasing that is actually called shraddha that with full confidence uh, uh, on what on shraddha it will be more and more getting increased accordingly that kind of uh, shraddha whether it will be getting more and more increasing and gradually the shraddha it will just take you to from the from the three modes of material miseries you will get out of that and topmost nishta bhav asakti all one after another this kind of uh, stages one one kind of stage and stairs you will be just going up and up up till what percentage your shraddha will go on increasing and according to that your siddhi siddhi you will get according to that and according to that siddhi will just go on increasing inside your heart automatically if someone if someone is actually putting one question maharaj how it is possible like that if someone actually putting question that maharaj how it is possible like that 
if someone is questioning that maharaj how it is possible like that that why because that you have already told this that all the time this shraddha it will go on that according to that only that anyhow if someone actually questioning that bhakti siddhi that kind of uh, uh, efforts to get if someone speaking that maharaj you are speaking that that if i will be just thinking of you then all sitting walking eating drinking how it will go that how i can uh, maintain myself so this question someone can put in front of us possibility can be there so if we can see in the same same ananya bhakti that bhakti siddhi uh, efforts if all the time we are getting into that that how we can maintain our body that how eating sleeping drinking how it will go that uh, kind of maintenance of our body and how i can meet with the external people how it is possible like that it is not at all possible if body and uh, mind is getting uh, unstable and it will just got destroyed then how bhakti siddhi can be possible you tell me if body is not at all there that what you are speaking bhakti bhakti that how it can be possible without body and mind you tell me that if you are all the time busy in doing uh, bhakti siddhi then how you can maintain your body and bodily related things the question is coming if the actual body of the persons are getting uh, destroyed if your body is getting destroyed then uh, that kind of uh, will for bhakti siddhi how you it it can be possible you tell me this kind of uh, thing in order to find solution of this point the actual vichar is this the in order to get the actual solution of this point what is that that this uh, in order to solve this problem bhagwan actually speaking that these persons that this uh, janalok what you can see this material world all the materially bonded jivas there some persons will be like that that without doing karma they can uh, speak like that and mayavadis are also speaking they are also speaking they are actually called as karma sanyas but if you can ask them that maharaj have you actually not at all doing karma you are leaving karma yes you are eating you are we are just walking you are sleeping all actually is karm only you are going to the bathroom everything is karm no so how you have uh, left karm so the mayavadi vichar is totally absurd this is not at all scientific at all so karm they cannot leave at all that jeevas their body jeevas body when they will be having this material body up till that point when the jeevas will be having this material body up till that point that in top form, uh, in no complete form karm cannot get uh, vanquished at all and maybe it can be like you can just divert it a bit but uh, topmost uh, fully you cannot uh, destroy the karma and uh, devotees are also doing karma no you have an understand what i'm speaking the actual uh, karma of the devotees is actually bhakti externally you can see that all the devotees they are actually doing uh, doing kitchen or randhan karya for bhagwan that is called bhakti and the other person is actually taking some salary and uh, doing some kitchen for bhagwan that is uh, externally it looks all the same but it's not like uh, not the same it all it looks all the same but it is not the same at all it is not the same at all so externally this uh, which are looks the same that bhakti and uh, the just by doing bhakti all those pure devotees they are doing bhakti that definitely it is important and essential without that bhakti cannot be done bhakti can't be done so that's why if you make this important vichar that why shila rup goswami pad speaking this point i have already told you before as well that shila rup goswami pad is with very uh, very clever mind with very transcendental cleverness he is speaking he is not speaking anya vilas he is anya vilasita means 
दैट विद द रूट यू जस्ट नीड टू थ्रो दैट अन्याभिलाष बट ज्ञान कर्म अनावृतम इट इज स्पोकन है मीन्स दैट मटीरियल कर्म एंड मायावादी विचार एवरीथिंग यू जस्ट नीड टू थ्रो इट अवे एंड वॉट एवर गोइंग ऑन टू द पैथ वे ऑफ प्योर भक्ति दैट यू वॉट इज यूज फॉर द सेटिस्फेक्शन ऑफ भगवान दैट इज एक्चुअली नॉट एट ऑल प्रोहिबिटेड यू हैव टू डू दैट फॉर द सेटिस्फेक्शन ऑफ भगवान डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली यू हैव टू डू दैट दैट इज नॉट एट ऑल प्रोहिबिटेड एट ऑल डेफिनेटली यू हैव टू डू दैट that it's uncovered by that it is uncovered by dry knowledge and impersonalism that fruitive activities this cloud actually you can see this cloud in the in the sky what you can see the cloud that uh, that how it is they're covering the sun but in actual cloud can uh, cover the sun is a it's a question no it is not at all possible why because where actually sun is where actually sun is at what distance and the sun god has so much uh, topmost uh, manifestation that 14 lakhs that 14 millions 14 uh, lakh times um, more uh, size than the the actual diameter of the earth the actual volume of the earth it is 14 you multiply it by 14 lakhs more that is the actual uh, uh, it will approximately come close to the sun's uh, volume so that's why a uh, cloud cannot uh, that uh, only my uh, eyes darshan can get uh, dusted by the by that that kind of darshan pan cloud cannot uh, uh, cover the sun at all it is not possible this is just my actual eyes which is getting uh, covered by maya illusion so that how i can uh, go in this general dharm of uh, this uh, general population i have to talk with them how it can get so whatever kind of population i can see on this material earth that 800 uh, million people are there i don't have this kind of information but approximately i'm speaking just for an example exemplary point i'm speaking that uh, if there are 800 million population in the whole world that definitely one or the other way they are doing something and mayavadis are also doing karma they cannot stop their karma at all they have to go to the bathroom they have to take prasadam they have, have to take have to walk they have to, everything so how they can stop their karma you tell me they are actually speaking all lie that karma that that in gita bhagwan already told that arjun to arjun that arjun up till this body that your uh, uh, sambandh your is there with this body then definitely you cannot escape from karma completely at all it's not possible you have to do the karma because it is related to your body so nirantar jo karma all the time what kind of uh, karma all those material persons are actually uh, here living that you just diverted towards the topmost uh, transcendental knowledge that you just uh, concentrated on that absolute truth like how parikshit maharaj has just quit all big kingship everything just for the service of bhagwan it's nothing for them for yudhishthir maharaj every kind of uh, kingship and uh, raj suya yagya what sacrifice he has done sacrifice everything is just for the satisfaction of bhagwan it is not for his personal independent satisfaction all the time he is actually doing shravan kirtan of bhagwan inside his heart with this vichar he is actually doing seva yudhishthir maharaj so all those material people who all doing all karma and they are actually there that with that karma that is just need to concentrate on that and the actual karmatva and the bondage of that karma in order to destroy that completely just to get established in bhakti that is the actual uh, uh, karma like i'll give you one example regarding this that shriman mahaprabhu parat par akhileshwar bhagwan he is actually is doing uh, the leela in going to the bathroom latrin and he is just uh, uh, taking his tongue very tightly and he is uh, there is one kind of uh, proof there somewhere written that uh, with one uh, rope he used to just tie it and gopal guru goswami was a child and he is speaking that prabhu what you are doing and actually prabhu speaking that my tongue is actually not at all um, listening to me all the time she, the tongue is actually dancing krishna naam so that's why i have with full tight uh, mood i have just uh, grasped it and gopal guru is coming very smiling he speaking that prabhu that bhagwan naam should all the time should be done it is not at all prohibited 
you can do anything so what kind of uh, dosh is there in that then mahaprabhu actually speaking to him gopal guru by that name after that only and all the person actually all used to speak him gopal guru goswami after that day and gopal guru goswami his name this uh, kind of uh, uh, respect he has got it means that the karmatva the reason why is the karma is the reason for the reason for my bondage that karma kand gyan kand very nice vichar it's actually being spoken our narottam das thakur has spoken so that karma that karmatva if it actually gone away like the case that there is very poisonous snake but this poisonous snake inside him if that venom poisonous venom is going away if his uh, uh, teeth is getting away then i can play with that snake very easily you can see that i we can very easily play with that snake with that snake that if the that uh, teeth poisonous teeth are getting out then the venomous snake cannot do anything so when we can play with him very easily in the same case that karma also if that uh, karma band and gyan band it means so much kirtan actually i have given uh, as an example in front of you regarding this that karma kand gyan kand this i have already told you from the shloka after this what actually been spoken after this it is written karma and gyan can just put me in bondage karma bandho karma bandho gyan bandho avesh manav andho kya likha what actually written here narut by narutan das thakur that uh, both of them are bondage karma and gyan and after that lot of kirtan are there lot of kirtan are there regarding this very nice kirtan actually it is there so bhaktivinoda thakur the his vichar is actually there what bhagwan wants to speak that is the actual conclusion of that is that that karma like uh, a poisonous snake his teeth is just uh, getting out and venomous snake is venom we cannot do anything in the same way that whatever kind of karma accord that you are getting bondage by doing that particular karma that uh, that karmatva of that particular karma if it is getting destroyed and here you have to uh, establish bhakti uh, then everything you have to do for bhagwan that my body speech and mind whatever you are doing performing activities you just have to do all the kind of by this uh, activities towards bhagwan you will get out of the bondage of karma that is the actual point that uh, by mentally by socially and by bodily efforts the persons are putting uh, and this uh, bodily uh, uh, journey of a particular jiva he is actually maintaining that by all these three actions he is performing whether by body by mentally or by social uh, activities he is actually maintaining his body he is actually just maintaining his uh, body and is all the time maintaining his body by all these three actions and asan means that eating that eating that bajdato asan 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 just to sit and just to just to have patience just to eat and and these are all the kind of different different karms karms you are doing regarding your body all this what is that is all actually related to your uh, uh, activities of your body that i have already told you now 
दैट इज ऑल बॉडिली कर्म एंड वॉट एक्चुअली रिटर्न एवरी थिंग इज बॉडिली धर्म बॉडली कर्म एंड जस्ट बाई रिमेम्बरेंस मनन एंड जस्ट बाई जस्ट गेटिंग द एक्सचेंज ऑफ हैप्पीनेस एंड सोरो ऑल दिस एक्चुअली डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ मेंटल कर्म आर देयर लॉट ऑफ कर्म आर देयर रिगार्डिंग योर मेंटल कर्म आर ऑल्सो देयर एंड दो वॉट एवर उच इज वन हैविंग दे कैन जस्ट एक्सेप्ट दैट एंड कैन रिजेक्ट अकॉर्डिंगली दैट ऑल द टाइम थिंकिंग रिमेम्बरेंस मानस मनन एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ सम थॉट्स ऑल आर एक्चुअली मेंटल कर्म ओ माई गॉड आई हैव गॉट सो मच लॉस इन माई लॉस इन माई बिजनेस और वेदर दैट वॉट एवर काइंड ऑफ किंगशिप किंगली किंगली रिलेशनशिप और सोशल रिलेशनशिप विद अदर रेलेटिव एंड एंड जस्ट टू मेंटेन योर फैमिली एंड योर रेलेटिव एंड बिहेवियर विद अदर पर्सन जस्ट टू गिव रिस्पेक्ट टू अदर्स एंड इट इज एक्चुअली ऑल कमिंग इन टू द सोशल कर्म सो ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ सोशल कर्म आर डेफिनेटली आर कर्म ओनली दैट इफ इट इज डेफिनेटली कर्म ओनली दैट ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ कर्म वॉट आई एम स्पीकिंग जस्ट बी केयरफुल ऑन दिस पॉइंट दैट वॉट कैटेगोरिकली आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्पोकन दैट बॉडिली कर्म मेंटल कर्म एंड दैट सोशल कर्म दैट दिज ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ कर्म the inside this mental karma all actually these are there already that just to do that marriage or king relationship is all coming in the category of social karma that all these kind of social karma whether whether it is mental karma whether it is social karma whatsoever karma is there what a bodily karma or whatever kind of karma it is whatever is there this in this material world definitely it is so there you just need to accept that up till you will be just living in this material world definitely you have to follow all these kind of karms then only it will gonna get finished if the person is living his body so all these kind of karms just be careful on this point that all these kind of karms when it is actually somebody is obeying when some all these kind of karms that when you are doing for yourself that for your own enjoyment in order to maintain his own enjoying mood in that and just in order to fulfill his own enjoyment if he is doing all these kind of karms then karma when it is done for our own enjoyment just by taking some kind of desire then definitely it is a, will burn kind of bondage for us i'll given you lot of examples that how indra ji maharaj that his karma kand just got increasing day by day and that uh, it just becomes one kind of uh, hanging rope for him that indra maharaj how he has just entangled himself into that uh, trap and trap of karma i have already given you before this example so this is actually karma kand what i have already spoken to you and by this karma samuh you understand the point what i'm speaking when all kind of karmas that all kind of karmas that for our own uh, satisfaction and enjoyment of our senses we are doing that then it is called karma bondage of karma karma bondage they are waiting only for ritualistic fruitive activities just they want the actual fruit of their actions what they are performing they are all the time busy in that only and this same the by this same karma samuh that boy uh, what i have already told you that all kind of karma when you are actually doing for your own enjoyment you are doing that then it is becoming karma kand and uh, all kind of karma samuh that kind of uh, attain attainment of knowledge then it is called karma yog and gyan yog respectively when you want knowledge out of that that you just have this kind of desire to get uh, bhagwat uh, bhagwat knowledge when all kind of karm that you are actually making it uh, attainable by sadhana bhakti then all then it is called gaun bhakti yoga all this kind of karm what you are performing by 
by just by practicing those uh, with the help of bhakti yoga then that kind of karma is called gaun bhakti yoga but that pure uh, devotional activities or that pure devotional karm that is called pure bhakti about which i have already told you previously that uh, previously i have just told you that comes in the category of pure devotional so pure devotional karma that is called direct bhakti all these nine kind of uh, different bhakti uh, ang so when when the all karma actually you are doing just to with a target to just enjoy that kind of uh, karma then all those karma that is titled as karma kand and by all those karma sabu if you are want to acquire the knowledge about that uh, uh, bhagwan about bhagwan and bhagwat tatva then that is called gyan yog that is gyan yog and karma yog respectively and when all kind of karma you are actually using for uh, acquiring bhakti yog that if you can understand this then all kind of karma what you are doing then it is called gaun karm gaun bhakti yog but pure bhakti pure devotional uh, practice that is only that is swayam bhakti we are speaking here which is not at all mixed with any kind of karma and gyan at all and that on social activities you are actually doing just by having that gaun bhakti so all those people who are doing the work of acharya all people as working as an acharya they are actually preaching and they are actually just by preaching that human dealings that uh, behavior with the other persons dealings they definitely it will come out it is very much important it is very very important definitely that deal human dealings will come but that shuddha bhakti that kind of symptoms regarding that karma that is called the actual pure devotion practice time to time this also happens that uh, swayam uh, swayam pure bhakti and gaun bhakti karma just by doing that both that all kind of karma definitely i will get my attention you have an understand what i'm speaking like the case if some actually one is doing the work of an acharya from morning up till 2 and 2 and a half uh, 2 and a half pm 230 pm he is doing uh, archan and manas mental archan hari naam kirtan everything he is doing that but maharaj ji when he is actually just giving darshan to all the people in that what is happening that uh, maharaj ji that you do kripa on us that this kind of condition come in my life then definitely we have to speak something to them so that is actually coming human dealings are give some prasadam to him and uh, like this this human dealing definitely gonna come so this human uh, dealing or behavior definitely will come in your way if that kind of uh, human dealings and behavior that like uh, 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 material person are doing then it will become bondage and if you are actually doing these kind of uh, human dealings by taking bhagwan in front then that will not at all become the actual cause of your bondage at all no not at all that's why it is actually spoken here that uh, pure devotees uh, by doing their association and time to time if it is required then that uh, swayam bhakti definitely you are doing and in that that gaun bhakti karm in human dealings in all kind of other karms also i will be having my attention if i am actually giving some prasadam to someone then definitely i have to make some link that in that prasadam distribution i should do it very properly to each and every one you understand the point what i am speaking so like this each and every activity you just need to make sure that uh, swayam pure bhakti will be sometimes done very rare but that gaun bhakti is also done in that so definitely i have that kind of attention in all these kind of cases and activity what i am doing and at that time if this technique this kind of technique or kaushal if i am doing that and putting that and at that time by doing karma also jeevas cannot become bahirmukh they cannot get away from that pure bhakti mark that kind of uh, action or that kind of uh, practice 
दैट काइंड ऑफ अंतन हुक्ता अनुष्ठान यू जस्ट नीड टू ग्रैप दैट लाइक इन द ईशो उपनिषद ऑल्सो इट इज रिटन In this, that the Bhasya cars are already writing regarding this, that the actual purpose is that in that that whatever we are actually taking, that all kind of things it is just in the form of prasadam of Bhagwan we have to accept, just by with full uh, Bhagwat Tattva Prasad with that kind of mindset we have to take that prasadam, by taking that. that karm karmatva that kind of bondage towards karma it we will not at all divert it towards that at all what will happen that topmost bhakti it will become bhakti mai full of bhakti it means bolta ishavasu ka kehna hai ishavasu speaking what actually written in ishavasu it is written Like this, it is written. If you will be doing like this, then even hundred years also, that years after years also, if you will they will be performing karma, still. Even hundred and hundred of years, your age is here, but still you will definitely be get entrapped in. You will not be getting entrapped in karma at all. If you will perform the activities like that, you will not get entrapped by karma at all, and you will not get bondage. That is the that only two mantra, only two mantra which I have already told you, that that about gyan regarding knowledge. that what will be the actual thing of acquiring knowledge that uh, according to the bhakti side that by bhagwat samarpan that kind of topmost uh, uh, advantage we can get by the by following the pathway of bhakti maybe our adi guru is brahma ji adi guru is actually is krishna but brahma ji is also our guru varg inside the brahma ji inside the heart of brahma ji that kind of creation desire is definitely there so if he is actually all the time just thinking of bhagwan that creation work then it's already written in chatushloki bhagavat it means that he is concentrating with full uh, consciousness he is thinking of bhagwan all the time is already being spoken इन चतुश्लोकी भागवतम दैट इज अ टॉप मोस्ट समाधि टॉप मोस्ट कॉन्शियसनेस बट दैट विल नॉट बिकम एट ऑल रिमेन कर्म मे बी ही इज डूइंग द वर्क ऑफ क्रिएशन बट स्टिल ब्रह्मा इज आउट ऑफ बॉन्डेज यू अंडरस्टैंड द पॉइंट वट आई एम स्पीकिंग इन अर्चन मार्ग ऑल्सो दैट भगवत उपासना जस्ट बाय ध्यान it is actually getting that karma with along with dhyan you just need to do karma that is actually uh, important to do like that inside the heart of brahma that uh, creation of uh, this material world is definitely there that kind of creation if it is actually done for the actual with a long connection with the dhyan of uh, bhagavat tattva with full consciousness of bhagavat tattva then that kind of sharanagati symptoms of uh, bhagwan it will just get uh, in in the category of uh, uh, it will become gaun dharma in the category of bhakti that will not become the cause of bondage for a particular jiva <coughs> brahma like this instruction bhagwan has given bhagwan has given this instruction to brahma about chatur shloki bhagavatam whatever kind of updesh he has given here also in panch shloki that inside the heart of brahma that kind of creation desire is definitely there and this kind of desire to do creation is not at all possible to throw it away but this kind of creation how you have to do you have to do in connection with bhagwan and in chatur shloki bhagavatam that last uh, uh, shloka of chatur shloki bhagavatam 
it will not become the cause of bondage at all that he is speaking to brahma ji and inside the heart of brahma definitely he is the creator and that same kind of uh, creation desire what is having he is actually accepting that with the full samadhi and consciousness towards bhagavat tattva bhagwan then that kind of karma will become gaun karma and will be become in the cut- in counted in the category of bhakti that sharnapati uh, symptoms we can see then definitely it will become gaun dharma brahma ji in the same way he is giving this kind of instruction and is the actual instruction because brahma what kind of situation is of brahma bhagwan is giving the instruction according to that when all those jivas are getting some kind of bhava that just by doing sadhana practicing bhakti that those who already attained the position of bhava bhakti then definitely they will get the vairagya towards krishna that uh, all those jivas who are getting bhava inside their heart all those jivas who are, who are actually getting the bhava inside their heart inside their heart that bhava is already getting attained for all those particular jivas inside the heart of those bhava prapt jivas that definitely krishna definitely to get vairagya uh, in the activities of krishna it will definitely be there this kind of upadesh is not at all applicable for them at all because they have vairagya attached towards krishna if some kind of then this kind of instruction what brahma ji bhagwan is given to brahma ji is not at all applicable there otherwise it is very much important for those who are not at all deep for jivas who have not at all attained bhava stage at the time of prabhupad also at the time of prabhupad also in gaudiya patrika that the time of prabhupad in gaudiya patrika there to there were two shlokas there were two shlokas in there in the on the front page of gaudiya patrika prabhupad and the at the time of prabhupad that gaudiya patrika which was published at that time that at that time when gaudiya patrika was published in that patrika on the front page there were two shlokas written always in front what is actually written by shila rupa swami pad in bhakti rasamrita sindhu which is very special point about the pure devotees why because apart from this in order to not understand this point two points shuddh bhakti is not at all possible to attain by not at all understanding this you cannot attain shuddh bhakti at all that's why it is written here prabhupad ji is according to the instructions of prabhupad that uh, according to the instruction of prabhupad what you speak uh, chaitanya by the actual instruction of prabhupad that this gaudiya patrika on the front page this two shlokas are there what is that that uh, according to that shlok i will be just uh, uh, finishing today's uh, uh, katha that i have this desire to finish it by just speaking this two shlokas इट मीन्स बाय योर मटीरियल बाय माई मटीरियल माइंड एंड इंटेलिजेंस यू आर थिंकिंग दैट यू जस्ट आर एक्सेप्टिंग द भगवत सेवा एज यू आर जस्ट बी थ्रोइंग दैट अवे दैट भगवत तत्व then nothing you will get by disrespecting that bhagavat tattva at all like you are throwing all the material things away are are i will not at all take this other while only be taking by the hands of sadhus i will not be doing that, that this is actually vairagya <laughs> that is all so we i will not at all sleep like that so nice bed it is are ramanujacharya his uh, bed in order to test his bed his one uh, disciple of ramanujacharya every day he used to just uh, maintain the bed of gurudev and all the time he used to see the check the bed and everyone actually just uh, speaking to gurudev that he is doing like that he is checking your bed after just cleaning it and gurudev speaking that why actually you are just touching my bed you are actually checking to i uh, know gurudev i am not sleeping that they are speaking all wrongly that after just uh, cleaning your bed i am just testing the bed that uh, i am actually rolling on the bed on the on your bed 
I am just scrolling up why. If so that so some object is there by which Gurudev actually getting some kind of uh, um, uh, unhappiness by sleeping on that. So by that only I just want to test that bed. That Gurudev should not get any kind of uh, uh, unhappiness by sleeping there. So and then Ramanujare thinking that it is not at all that for with enjoying mood he is actually uh, rolling on my bed. If he is actually seeing my bed, testing it that. So that I am sleeping. When I am sleeping, some insect or something cannot uh, uh, can can get break. So he is actually thinking like that. So that insect and other small things cannot uh, uh, disturb me while sleeping. Our Govindji also. What who is the actual uh, servant of Mahaprabhu? According to that, that he is the actual god brother of uh, Kurudev. According to the material thinking, but uh, he is the actual servant of. Uh, sir, he is actually always in the service of uh, Gorang Mahaprabhu and uh, Guru and uh, Govind at Gamb- in the Gambira temple. And he is very much fallen. You know, is very very small that aperture of Gambira. And uh, very very carefully, you just need to enter the aperture of Gambira. And if someone is actually g- coming, uh, he will be sleeping at the gate of Gambira. Then, because it is very very small aperture, you cannot enter it. Also, very very slow. And Mahaprabhu actually just sleeping in Gambira temple, in Gambira. Now that uh, Govind also wants to come inside, but he cannot come inside. That Prabhu, you just give me some side so that I want to come inside Gambira. Oh, what what you what you want? Actually, I'll be serving you some. I'll be just rubbing, massaging your uh, lotus feet. Okay, if you want to do, you can do. Otherwise, you don't do. Then uh, I. I am very tired. I can't move my body. <laughs> Mahaprabhu is speaking. That I am unable to move my body. I am very tired. If you want to serve me, you can do. Otherwise not. Then Govind, what he has done? That uh, he has just taken on, on this body. That Bahirvas. He has just put that. And after that, he is just uh, getting... Uh, just crossing Mahaprabhu inside. And just by crossing Mahaprabhu, he is just massaging the leg of Mahaprabhu after that. And he is actually doing that seva like that. And after that, Govind is actually speaking, Prabhu, you just give me some side. I want to go outside. Prabhu actually just making some fun. And I am speaking, no, I am very tired. I can't even move my body. Oh, okay, you just give some side. Are how you have came inside? You want to go outside? In the same manner, you can go outside. He is Govind not at all speaking anything. How you have come in, you can go outside like that. In the same manner, Govind actually is not at all answering anything. Why? Because the actual uh, pur- purpose of coming inside is seva only. Just to serve P- Prabhu and to go out, just take prasadam. Are how you go? Are you are actually just sleeping here like that? Are how you have come inside? You can go in the same way out. So no answer Govind given by Govind. Because the actual uh, purpose of coming inside is actually to do seva of Bhagwan. That's why he has went in. But now, in order to go outside to take prasadam, for that, that is not at all anukul for bhakti. So, so sensitive issue is there that you just make this kind of observation. So, all Vaishnavas or sadhus, all each and every object that they are seeing with the vichar of Bhagavad Seva, they are seeing them like that. That's why there is uh, all the time bhakti inside their heart. Kind of enjoying mood is there at all? That what is that is called the dry vairagya, which is strictly prohibited in Gaudiya Vaishnava bhajan. And what actually is spoken here? That those what is actually anukul for Bhagavad Seva, that in order to make it anukul, those who are having that uh, uh, will to make it anukul for Bhagavad Seva. That you don't have any kind of attachment regarding that. Prabhupada already rating in the Kita and Vashna of K. Without any asakti. 
विदाउट एनी आसक्ति दैट एवरीथिंग इज माधव इट मीन्स दैट भगवान इज ही इज माधव शब्द बाई स्पीकिंग माधव इट मीन्स दैट इन्फिनिटी ऐश्वर्य इज द एक्चुअल कॉज ऑफ ऑल इन्फिनिटी ऐश्वर्य दैट इज कॉल्ड माधव दैट माधवी इज द वाइफ ऑफ दैट माधव दैट इज मीन दैट मीन्स इज द शक्ति ऑफ माधव सो दैट इन इंग्लिश इट इज स्पोकन ऑल प्रॉपर एडजस्टमेंट भगवान स्पीकिंग टू ब्रह्मा जी दैट इज द लास्ट उपदेश like uh, in the gita that last upadesh is there manekam saranam bhajo aham tam sarva pati bhamukshi shami masu a chatushloki and in chatushloki what is the actual last upadesh maine jo aapko that what i have already spoken to you this chatushloki bhagavatam that i have already spoken you to brahma ji actually speaking to bhagwan that same upadesh that vichar that with samak roop you just need to get pratishtit by doing that what will happen param samadhi that topmost samadhi that dhyan you will get non stop consciousness towards me in that what will happen that bhagwan like if he is actually you are actually eligible to do like that if you are actually actually eligible to do this kind of uh, thing then definitely for you this karma that kind of creation work even if you are doing that you will not at all getting into any kind of bondage at all etatmatam samatishto etatmatam samatishto parameno samadina bhavano kalpa vikalpeshu no memoriyati karishi kisi bhi any how you will not get entangled in this uh, you will get you will not get into this bondage of karma at all any how you will not at all get entangled in the bondage karma bondage at all you will not at all come into that contact at all now दो जीवा अंडर द अनुगत्य ऑफ गुरुदेव दे हैव ऑलरेडी जस्ट टेकन दैट अनुगत्य सो फॉर देम यू जस्ट नीड टू टीच वैराग्य टू देम ऑटोमेटिकली वैराग्य विल कम टू देम दो जो ऑलरेडी गॉट द अनुगत्य ऑफ गुरुदेव सदगुरु ऑटोमेटिकली इट विल गेट सिद्धि हिज वैराग्य बाय युक्त वैराग्य दैट इज द एक्चुअल थिंग व्हिच वी नीड टू कंसीडर सो all those jeevas who are getting that bhav stage that definitely krishna vairagya is there automatically in them in them what by instructing this it is not at all required so why brahma ji that bhagwan giving this instruction to him that is very much useful by this he definitely is getting the topmost usefulness and advantage so that the shlok which i have already started in the i have already done in the last and by which shri brahma samhita that the fifth adhyay that i am actually spe- speaking about the finishing of the i am uh, bound to speak like that we just need to finish that ऑल राइट सो दिस लास्ट श्लोक वॉट आई हैलरेडी स्टार्टेड बिफोर दैट द लास्ट श्लोक आई ऑलरेडी स्पोकन टू यू नाउ विद दैट
श्री ब्रह्म संहिता दैट एक्चुअली दिस डिस्कशन ऑफ श्री ब्रह्म संहिता इज एक्चुअली गोइंग टू फिनिश टूडे इट्स ऑलरेडी फिनिश टूडे ओके आमनाय हरिमी हूँ परमम सर्वशक्ति रसादीम तद्विन्यांशांश जीवानो प्रकृति कबलिता तद्विमुक्तांश भावा भेदाभेद प्रकशम सकल मोपी हरे स्वादनम शुद्ध भक्ति साध्यम तत्तिमेव उपदेशति गौरचंद गौरचंद स्वयं स वाचकल्पतर्वशिकसी पतिता पावन भो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो